Deluge, destruction, devastation, these are the scenes in Pakistan as of now. The country is grappling with nature's fury as incessant rainfall and consequent flash floods continue to add to Pakistan's woes. The overall death toll from floods across the country have breached the 1,000 100 mark, while over 1,600 individuals were injured in rain and flood-related incidents. Over 735,000 livestock animals were lost as well. More than a million houses have either been damaged or completely destroyed. The figures released by Pakistan's National Disaster Management Authority reveal the extent of damage caused by the floods. After assessing the current situation, Pakistan government believes that the initial economic losses from flood could reach at least 10 billion US dollars as the unprecedented flash floods have washed away roads, crops, infrastructure, bridges here. I think it's going to be huge. Uh, so far, a very early preliminary uh, estimate is that uh, it is uh, bigger, it is higher than $10 billion to, you know, very early estimate, very rough estimate. But our joint uh, survey teams comprising of NDMA, PDMA and Army are now out in the field. But uh, many areas are still not accessible because of the water until water completely recedes, they will not be able to go and physically do the survey. But my hunch is that this is going to be two to three times higher than what we are estimating. Now, calling the floods a crisis of unimaginable proportions, Pakistan's climate change minister said that one third of the country is currently underwater, and as many as 72 districts of the country are calamity hit, which means that one out of every seven Pakistani is affected. But really, there's no more absorptive cap capacity. Already, the rivers are raging. Um, two provinces are almost entirely inundated. They look like the ocean. When we send in water pumps, they're like, they say, where do we pump the water? It's all one big ocean. There's no dry land to pump the water into. So out of. So it's, it's, it's become a, a crisis of uh, unimaginable proportions. Tens of thousands of people fled their homes in northern Pakistan's province of Khyber Pakhtunkhwa and Kabul River swelled and swept away a large bridge overnight, cutting off districts from road access downstream. Fears of flooding around the riverbanks displaced around 180,000 people. Owing to the massive destruction, the United Nations and Islamabad will launch a formal appeal on Tuesday seeking 160 million US dollars to fund emergency aid for Pakistan. The UN Secretary General spokesman said that the situation is expected to worsen with more ongoing rainfall. The UN has already mobilized about 7 million US dollars and has redirected its existing programs as well. It has released an additional 3 million US dollars to help the country. International aid, too, has been reaching Pakistan as cargo planes from Turkey and United Arab Emirates began the international rush to assist the impoverished nation and landed in Islamabad on Sunday, carrying tents, food, other daily necessities here. Meanwhile, Pakistan Finance Minister Mifta Ismail said that the government could consider importing vegetables and other edible items from India to facilitate proper aid for people. अभी मेरी मीटिंग होगी जिसमें हमने फूड सिक्योरिटी वालों को भी बुलाया है उस बारे में बात करेंगे और इंपोर्ट भी खोल देंगे ड्यूटी फ्री इंपोर्ट खोल देंगे उसको आसान भी बना देंगे और और मैं ये भी सामने आपके रख दूं कि इस बार इस बात को भी कंसीडर कर लेंगे कि अगर इंडिया से लैंड बॉर्डर के थ्रू इंपोर्ट करना पड़ेगा तो वो भी कर लेंगे क्योंकि ये सस्टेनेबल प्राइसेस नहीं है वी ऑन इज नाउ अवेलेबल इन योर कंट्री डाउनलोड द ऐप नाउ गेट ऑल द न्यूज़ ऑन द मूव